second grade. Welcome back to library. My name is Miss Brannis and we are going to be talking about library today. And our book is Chester Visits the Library. And the person who wrote and illustrated it is they don't have it on the front cover. So I have to go and look on the title page here. His name is Dennis Frank. So he's the one who wrote and illustrated the book. Right. Chester was ready to play baseball, not get soaked. Now what could he do? Chester spotted the library. He had never visited it before. Hmm, thought Chester. Maybe I should check it out. At least I will be dry. The rain fell harder. Chester raced through the library doors. The inside surprised Chester. It was cheerful, bright, and filled with colorful posters. Hey, he yelled, this place looks great. Ears all over the library heard Chester yell. Two of those ears belonged to Miss Mimi Mouse. Mimi loved the library. In fact, she lived there, right by the checkout desk. Mimi loved to help library visitors too. Now, who's making all that noise? She asked herself. A library is a place for quiet voices. She spotted the dripping orange cat. The name Chester was on his backpack. Chester decided to go exploring. He turned up his music and started to run. The librarian said, little cat, excuse me, we always walk in the library. Chester was already gone. Hmm, thought Mimi. This Chester must have never visited the library before. Mimi hurried after him. Mimi saw Chester run toward the children's books. He grabbed one off the shelf with his wet paws. Mimi heard the children's librarian say, little cat, excuse me, would you please make sure your hands are clean and dry and use a shelf marker? But Chester was already gone. Then Mimi saw Chester run by the music CDs. I don't need those, said Chester. I have my own music. And he turned up his music player even louder. Mimi heard the librarian say, Little cat, excuse me, we always turn our music players off inside the library. But Chester, he was already gone. Next, Mimi saw Ch Chester run past the DVDs. He read the sign. Cool, said Chester. Here's a movie about baseball. He grabbed the DVD and he put it in his backpack. Mimi heard the librarian say, Little cat, excuse me, you need to check out your movie first. But Chester, he was already gone. That Chester is fast, thought Mimi panting. She didn't know where Chester had gone. Then, she heard him yell, hurry stop! Mimi scurried towards the voice. Oh no, Chester was grabbing the papers and pencils that were next to the computer catalog. There were paper and pencils were there for everyone to use. Excuse me, Mimi started to whisper, but Chester, yep, he was already gone. Chester was getting hungry. He headed towards the story time room. Hi, he yelled. You guys have any snacks in here? The storyteller stopped reading. I'm sorry, she said. There's no food and drink in the library. And now I really need to finish the story. Mimi finally caught up. Little cat, excuse me. Your name is Chester, correct? That's right, said Chester. My name is Mimi and I live here. Do you like my library, Chester? Oh yeah, I really, really like your library. That's wonderful, said Mimi. And I have something to show you. Mimi pointed to a poster. Friends who visit the library learn all about library manners. Do you want to be a library friend? I sure do, said Chester. Here are some library manners. 
And it doesn't matter if we're in the library or in the classroom or where we are, where we are at, we are still in the library class. So you still have to follow those library manners. And when it's speak quietly, we need to make sure we use our inside voices and our quiet voices. We always walk and don't run. It doesn't matter where we're at. That's just safety. No food, no food or drink in the library. Keep everything turned off when those uh, computers are on. Make sure that all that sound is turned off. Handle books and all library materials very carefully. Remember, you gotta check out the materials that you want to borrow and always be polite to the librarian and all the visitors. All the librarians came to help Chester learn the rules. And we need to know those rules when we are in library, even if it's our classroom library or at home too. Chester and Mimi read all of the rules and Chester looked at Mimi. I didn't know all that. Thank you for showing me the rules, Mimi. I guess I didn't use very good library manners. But you will from now on, Mimi said with a grin, and you'll visit us all the time, right? Chester grinned back, right, he said, but he remembered to use his quiet voice. And Mimi knew that Chester would be a great library friend. And he says, welcome Chester, hooray Chester. And again, just some things to remember. Remember, you need to speak quietly. You need to walk, you don't run. You don't ever bring food or drinks into the library or eat with food or drinks with your library book. You need to make, make sure you handle all those library materials with very, very much with care. And you've got to check out those materials that you want to borrow and always be polite. And those are just some nice manners that you should know anyway. So this week, what you're going to be doing is you are going to uh, draw a picture of yourself taking care of a library book. You can draw it on the front or on the back of the paper. So you are going to write, I will take care of my book and you can rewrite it down here as your practice. And you can draw yourself in the book, taking care of it, or you can draw yourself on the back, taking care of a library book. I'll see you next week, bye.